Good afternoon. Um, Toastmasters of the day are guest evaluators and fellow Toastmasters. Time is gold. Yes, coming here is just an, another example of how time is very precious. I was still on a call until 12, I think 12.15, and I received a message from Rahayu, are you coming, Oya? And then I just rushed back and realized that I have something for 12 noon. Yeah, time is gold. Just, um, it wasn't long ago when the year started. It was New Year, we are all setting our goals, and we're looking forward to what we want to do for the rest of the year. And it's just a matter of time. The year is going to, it's coming to an end once more. Just as that cliche, time is gold. It is a cliche we often hear, but don't you agree with me on its reality? Time is gold and time is precious. Money wasted, money gone is something that we can always earn back. And just as time, time has been always been compared to a precious metal just as gold. But I would say, and you would agree with me, that probably or definitely time is even more valuable than gold. Because gold is something we can buy. Gold is something we can, just like money, something we can earn once, once more when we have lost it. But time lost, time wasted is something that we cannot turn back um, again. Are you one of those people just like me who would wish that we have more than 24 hours in a day? <laughs> yeah, I find myself waking up, preparing myself, going to the office, coming to work very early, and then just finding myself reading some emails, replying some calls, responding to calls, and then answering queries here and there. And then in no time when I glimpse on my watch, it's already 6 p.m. And I haven't even done half of what I have planned to do when I started my day. And then at night when I go back home, I would just lay on my bed or just sit down on my chair and just think that I wish that I have more time today because aside from work, I still have a lot of things that I want to do. I want to watch some of the dramas that I've been planning to watch. I want to read some books. But it's just that we only have 24 hours in a day. And every day I would often think of, why don't we just have more than 24 hours? We only have 24 hours a day. Just recently, I found myself quite drowned and a bit down that I'm on my 40s and I felt that I haven't done so much in my life. And, and I'm in this feeling of a rush that I don't have much time left. I don't know if this is my like my half time or my half life crisis or maybe it's already my you know i'm already on my three-fourths of my lifespan i don't know who would know and i feel in a certain rush that I, there's just so much that i still want to do but i just don't have much time then i just sat down one day and thought about what i've been doing in my life and realized that maybe my problem is not that i don't have much time but maybe I just am squeezing too much with the ample, with the right time that we all have, the equal time that we all have. I'm just squeezing too much of what I want to do. And I chanced upon this quote while I was on my reflective state from Lin Yu Tang that says, the wisdom of life consists of the elimination of the non-essentials. Come to think of it, when somebody says, maybe when you go to, to a hospital one day and the doctors say you only have one day to live, if we are faced with that um, challenge that you only have one day to live, instantly, we could only think of the important things in life. We wouldn't plan about so many things. If you only have one day and that's your maximum, by default, we would think of the important things that we want to do, like go to our family, visit our loved ones, and suddenly all the non-essentials are just gone. And in so doing, I, I, I'm not an expert in all this yet because I'm still in my journey. I'm still in my journey of trying to find out what is the important things in my life. And in doing so, I've come to a point of, I should start somewhere. And one of the things that I realized is that the, the key to life is we have to learn to say no. When faced with um, things, we find it like 
uh, I want to do this, I want to be involved with this, I want to be involved in this activity, but we cannot just say yes to everything. So the key in life is just saying no, no to not the bad, because sometimes we, we think of saying no to something that's bad. But coming to my second point is the key to saying no is understanding which is good, which is better, and which is best. Because sometimes the the toughest choice is not about choosing what is good and what is bad, but the toughest choice is choosing between better and good. So to me, to be able to understand what is essential in life is to choose between the good and the better. And lastly, at least for now, what I think about in terms of maximizing the time we have is important is to protect your asset. What is your asset? Ourselves. So important is to have enough sleep. Personally, I think that is one of the important things to be able to maximize our time because as I said earlier, I always find myself wanting and wishing that there's more than 24 hours, 24 hours in a day. So I find myself sleeping at 4 a.m., trying to squeeze a lot of things to do and then waking up at 7 a.m. And if you're doing this, maybe the next three to four days, you find yourself down on MC. And then you lost one day, one day that you could have been more productive. And to wrap things up, yes, the bad news is time flies fast. But the good news is we are the pilot of our lives. We are the pilot of our time. So it's a matter of choosing what's good, uh, choosing between the better and the good, the best and the better. Thank you and good afternoon.